Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix the VC runtime 140 DLL is missing from Windows 10. So this is a very common missing DLL error. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can try in order to fix this problem. First of all, the thing is this error can be different depending on the software that you're trying to open and you're receiving this error. But in this video, I'm gonna show you a few general steps and methods that can help you fix this problem in whatever program you're getting it in and stuff like that. First of all, let's get everything out of the way and click on the start button and click on the settings icon, then go to update and security and then go to Windows update. Click on check for updates and let Windows check for all the updates. Maybe there is a new patch coming, a new update that can fix problems like this, missing DLLs from Windows. So of course, let Windows install all the updates and then restart your computer. Now, what we're gonna do, click on the start button again, type in here CMD, right click on CMD and then click on one as administrator, click on yes. On CMD, type in SFC space slash scan now, press enter. You're gonna have this command in the description down below so you can copy it from there, don't worry. Wait for this verification and once this verification is finished, restart your system for Windows to do the system file checker. So the system file checker is basically a scan that will automatically scan for missing important system files, corrupted system files and stuff like that. And after the restart, we'll fix them and we'll try to replace them if some files are missing. So if this didn't fix the problem, you have to know that this DLL error is related to the Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. So you can manually download it so you can reinstall the Visual C++ or install it maybe, I don't know. Press the start key again, type in here your favorite browser. In my case, I'm gonna type in Edge. Go on Edge and copy and paste this link in this page. We're gonna have this link in the description down below. Again, don't worry for that. You will get that link from there. You'll copy it from there. So here you have the Visual Microsoft Visual C++. Click on download. Download the, uh, the version for your operating system. Maybe you have a x64 or a x86. Most systems have a x64, so get that and click on next. And of course, the download will start, run it and install it. And you have this here, select I agree and then install. So as you can see here, my setup failed because I already have this installed. Um, in order to install it properly, just go and click on the Windows button, type in here control, enter the control panel, on view by select large icons, and then go to programs and features and look for Microsoft Visual C++ for both versions, select each one and click on uninstall and the next one and click on uninstall. And then you can continue the setup by downloading that installer for which we're gonna have the download link in the description down below. And a last method that you can try or a step is to open again a browser. I'm gonna open Edge again and we're gonna go to a website called dll-files.com. This is a very cool website where you have a large library of DLL files and here you can search for any DLL file you want. In this case, we are searching for the VC runtime 140.dll. Click on it easily and down below, you're gonna have the link for the download. And of course here, try to read these, these steps because they will help you replace this DLL file in the location that you need it in. So basically the file from the top is usually the latest version but as you can see here this is the 32-bit architecture and this is the 64-bit architecture maybe you're gonna have to replace both into the visual c++ easily do that by downloading the files and following the steps that are written here in this article so i'm gonna leave you in the description down below the link for this page where you can download both the 32 and the 64-bit version of this dll file and hopefully like this, you will fix the problem. So this was the video for today, guys. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this from TechBased. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.